Good morning. This is motorcycle, ATV, and small engine repair. It's a $600-hour vocational class. We have a rolling enrollment of 22 students. Currently, we have students progressing in 11 different modules of a 20-module course. We work on everything from lawnmowers and weed eaters to motorcycles and four-wheelers. We designed this curriculum from scratch starting back in June. Our first cycle of students had a GPA of 96%. 15 out of 19 got 100 on the final exam. So if we can keep it up, we're impressing the William School District. Just getting started, I got a couple of quick jokes for you. How can you fall off a 50 foot ladder? and land on concrete and not get hurt. Fall off the first step. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a good one. <laughs> Is it irony that your nose runs and your feet smell? <laughs> okay, enough of that. <laughs> Where are you getting any jokes on? It's the only clean ones I could find. <laughs> so today, first part of today, we're reviewing the classroom display assignment that you guys have been working on over the last two days. Yes, sir. Looking at your displays, you were very creative. And I'm proud of your efforts. Most of the groups did a great job of staying on task and splitting up their duties to complete the assignment. All of you showed your knowledge of small engines. So now let's take a look at the rubric. The grading rubric talks about the four objectives. Can you read that? The display respect reflects the four objectives. What are the four objectives? I don't know. We're going to have to pause. I don't have all my papers. <laughs> <laughs> do you think I'm kidding? <laughs> you kind of like, stop worrying so much, just do it. My bad. Thank you, coach. Yes, sir. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Whitfield, for coaching me in this. So, the, the first uh, main line there is displaying. Your display reflects all four objectives. The first objective is the student will display a model layout for class display on small engines with individual parts labeled. Really important, individual parts labeled. Objective two, students will be able to collect all necessary tools and materials required to build a classroom display. Each, each group did do a great job checking out reference materials and the tools to complete the group tasks. Objective three, students will follow the steps in constructing a classroom display. Most of you followed the steps well. Each group's efforts are reflected in the finished product. Objective four, as a team, students will assess all of the classroom displays. You all graded your own projects and then projects graded by the other groups. Since one group got all fives, we'll take a look at their displays ending up with that. First question I have, what reference material did you use to complete this assignment? Show of hands. Mr. Carew. Uh, small gas engine and outdoor power. Very good. Next question. We've all talked throughout this class about uh, the Texas education knowledge skills required for the small engine category. What 
Texas education knowledge skills have been addressed with this lesson. Show of hands. Mr. Robinson. I've learned concepts and skills to repair small engines. Anybody else? Show of hands. How about Mr. Whitfield? Well, I, I, I can now explain the simple fundamental principles about small engines and uh, their components. Very good. So you can explain the principles of small engine and their individual components? What did you learn, Mr. Gray? The ability to safely use hand and power tools to Teamwork. Teamwork. One of the lessons we keep stressing in this class because uh, out in the real world you may be uh, teamed up in a job with people that you aren't necessarily best friends with. Yeah. Not going to sit and have a barbecue or your favorite drinking buddy, but you may have to work with them together to get a job done. And it's to your advantage to learn how to work with people from every walk of life. So. Let's look at some of these projects. This project we're going to have to call incomplete. Can anybody tell me why? Mr. Bowden. They are not labeled. Parts are not labeled. So this would be a lesson in time management for the group that worked on this. I'm not going to call you guys out, but uh, we had two days to complete this project, and you got as far as getting this motor broke down, and uh, all the labels are blank because you just didn't have time to label everything. It was really important to label each and every component and its purpose. So if we go back over here by the uh, overhead projector. I'll show you another one. Now, this one, we did a real good job of labeling the individual parts and labeling it. The only thing that kept it from getting a great score, one, it's not 3D, but number two, they left out eight or nine crucial parts, so it was an incomplete mode. What did the assignment say? Take all the parts from an engine, label. label them by their name and their and what their purpose was. Lastly, we can look at the display board of the group that got all fives according to the grading group. I'm going to walk over here and examine how this is done. This group was pretty innovative. They took, they took all the parts of the motor and then some. Because if you'll see, 35, 37, and 38, these are all crankcases. They took the extra, they went the extra mile and decided that they would show you a vertical, horizontal, and a two-cycle crankcase. They have one whole motor completely broke down otherwise, all its individual components. Number one is a dipstick used to measure the amount of oil in the engine. Simple and basic. A lot of people will be able to look at that and know what that is. But the way they've done this is they've told you exactly what each component is, its proper name, and what its purpose is in a motor. After doing this assignment, what kind of drawbacks what did you guys find were uh, the challenges of this project? Anybody? 
Well, let's see, Mr. Alvarez. Uh, working at the team. Okay. Anything else, Mr. Rivera? Great to do what we have. Very good. How about you, Mr. Silva? No amount of time we have. Okay. Mr. Martinez? Not having the internet or Google. Okay. Internet or Google, time, dealing with limited resources and materials, working as a team. Well, these are all things that, uh, they're, they're part of this lesson. These are things that you are uh, uh, trying to make the best of what you got, deal with the time that you have. Uh, and you get out in the real world and you have a job in this field, you're going to have things that uh, you got to do it within budget, you got to get it done as quick as possible. Um, learning how to work as a team, these are things that, you know, from childhood, it's a lesson that we have to continually learn throughout life. Any questions about this assignment? Anybody have a random thought or question? Yes, no, maybe? Would any of you guys like to do a job, a project like this again? Okay. Anything that would make it a better project? All silent. So, we're going to get into uh, reviewing chapter 9 and uh, camera. You may want to take a walk and see what kind of stuff we worked on in this class. Oh, yeah. Class works on lawnmowers, weed eaters, Suzuki motorcycles, John Deere tractors, right?